We have seen them throw the ball. This is definitely a throwing situation. You see how the Wildcats will play it. They've got two good re receivers, Larry Stevens and Michael Brown. Stevens. Now we have a flag down. Pass incomplete. And they were coming. Number 44 was absolutely in the backfield. Looks like a legal, legal procedure on the Wildcats. Alex Widener was all over the quarterback. That's the second time I've seen him do that today. That will be declined. And again. Wildcats have to punt. And there again, Tishon Smoot, the quarterback, the freshman, unable to get a first down. And it just seems like this offense just can't get going tonight. Well, you have a couple good plays in a row, and then you have the mistake where the quarterback runs into the running back. Exactly. And they lose seven yards and just throws everything off. And we've talked about it tonight. This is the kind of game that if Lancaster can hang around against this Wildcat team at could absolutely have a big, big upset if they could get That's not Isaiah like Gibson with a punt. Jake Richard oh, fumbles it, and he's going to go. He can't go. go. He can't go. He can't go. It's going to be Wildcat football. Ball bounced right off the chest. Of Jake Richards. Of Jake Richards, and right into the hands of uh, number Tavion seven. Tavion Smith. Yeah, number nine. Actually, it was Michael. Tavion was it Tavion? It's Tavion. It's Tavion. Tavion Smith caught it. Nine. And in, in the old days, he could have ran all the way with it. No, they But now, even even 50 years ago, I don't think you could. Have. I thought you could have been back then. But I'll tell you guys, a lot of fun right now. The Wildcats have had three turnovers and have all set up opportunities to score. They've been able to score once, and that was the three-yard run by Tavion Smoot with three minutes gone in the first quarter. 